Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics Maddy. In this video, we're going to see the design and simulation of a difference amplifier in MATLAB. So let's get started. This is a circuit diagram of a difference amplifier. So it is also referred to as a subtractor. So the reason is very simple. Uh, the output voltage will be the difference between the input signals V1 and V2. That is V out will be equal to V2 minus V1 or V1 minus V2 based on the magnitudes of which V1 and V2 are associated with. So in case if you're supplying V1 to be greater than uh, V2, then uh, we will be getting an output voltage with respect to that. So for example, uh, if you have V1 say equal to 2 volt and V2 say equal to 4 volt, the output will be equal to 2. That is difference between 4 and 2, V2 minus V1. Similarly, if you're choosing V1 to be 4 volt and V2 to be equal to 2 volt, you will still be getting uh, 2 volt at the output, but it is an inverted one. So what I'm trying to say, based on which terminal is given higher voltage, that particular operation will take place. If you are supplying V1 to be higher, that is the inverting terminal, the output will be inverted. That is 180 degree phase shift will be there. If you are supplying V2 to be greater than V1, then the output again will be the difference between the signals. However, it will not be inverted. It will be in phase with respect to the input signals that are supplied. So this is the basic logic with respect to difference amplifier uh, simulation in MATLAB. So now we look into the design procedure. Every design requires some requirements and uh, it also uh, requires few assumptions to be taken into consideration. So I'll be assuming V1 and V2 to be equal to 2 volt and 4 volt respectively and I'll be choosing R1, R2, R3, R4 to be same. So only when they're same V out will be equal to V2 minus V1. Otherwise there is another output expression with respect to V out. Just to simplify our analysis I've considered all the values to be equal to the same. So V out will be equal to V2 minus V1 so you'll be getting 4 minus 2 that is equal to 2 volt in this case. So let's get into our uh, MATLAB simulation once the design procedure and waveform analysis is clear. So let's get started. Let's go. All right, here we are. So click on Simulink Library Browser and search for the components that are required. We would be requiring an AC voltage source. So search for AC voltage source and choose the ones that are there in blue uh, because uh, these are uh, responsible for operational amplifier applications and signals and systems. Uh, whereas this is used for power electronic applications. So be very careful with respect to choosing the ones that are required for a particular application. So we would be requiring a voltage sensor. Uh, so search for voltage sensor. Um, at this block as well. Apart from that, uh, we would be uh, requiring a solver configuration block, uh, which is very important for the simulation to take place. Without this block, simulation will not take place. Uh, the reason is very simple. This is used to add the solver parameters during the simulation uh, processing uh, with respect to runtime. So without this block, it will be throwing you an error and you will be getting uh, an error with respect to the output uh, that you are supposed to get. And uh, once this is done, we will be uh, searching for an electrical reference that is nothing but a ground in our case so it is labeled in this particular fashion so add that block as well we would be requiring a simulink converter so search for simulink converter and add this block as well so once all of these are added we will be requiring a resistor um, search for resistor and add uh, that over here so once all of these are added, uh, we need to add uh, operational amplifier, which is basically the heart of a circuit. So add this block as well. Uh, once all of these are done, uh, we would be requiring a scope in order to see how the waveform looks like. So search for scope, uh, you'll be getting it right at the top, add this block as well. So uh, we have added so we have added all of the components that are required. So we will be placing them in appropriate position so that uh, we can get started with our circuit connections. So uh, this is the voltage sensor. I'll be placing it over here and any C voltage source in this particular position. First thing to do, uh, if you carefully observe it is plus and minus, we can change that by right clicking on it and uh, go to uh, the option called rotate and flip and choose flip block and up down. So once this is done, uh, we'll be able to connect the resistor. But before that we'll choose the resistance value to be equal to 5 kilo ohm and then uh, we will copy paste the same value so copy paste now three times because they're used in three different places so uh, connect them uh, in this rotate this particular resistor um, and then we will be connecting the uh, resistor here in the inverting terminal and non-inverting terminal and uh, with respect
respect to the non inverting terminal in this position uh, we would also require uh, an ac voltage source additionally uh, for the non inverting terminal as well so connect this in this particular fashion we will be requiring a ground uh, for these respective terminals we can connect them to a common ground as well but just to uh, make it look better the circuit i am doing in this particular fashion so connect this at this particular point and connect this with respect to this particular point the feedback resistor should be connected between this and the output terminal and uh, we will be requiring additionally three simulink converter the reason why simulink converter is used is uh, these are all uh, sensors that are used uh, are associated with real uh, world applications such as uh, voltage sensor pressure sensor temperature sensor all of them are to be connect converted to a form that is suitable in matlab as a result this has an inbuilt function that automatically performs that action so we'll be using that uh, we will be requiring another uh, voltage source another one at the output as well so control c control v and now we will be uh, uh, entering the parameters with respect to supply voltage it is 2 volt with respect to v1 that is at the inverting terminal and frequency to be equal to 1000 hertz and with respect to uh, v2 it is 4 volt and the frequency is 1000 hertz you can change it and try it for different uh, values as well the voltage source uh, positive terminal to the positive terminal and negative to ground uh, and the other terminal is to convert it and then give it to the scope here and similarly we'll be uh, connecting this particular voltage sensor as well positive with respect to positive negative with respect to ground and the other one with respect to the simulink converter block and then give it to scope the final uh, voltage uh, source uh, uh, sensor will be connected between positive and ground any particular ground in this case connect to it to a simulink converter and connect it to scope in this particular fashion once all of these are connected we will be connecting the solver configuration blocks such that it touches our circuit and once this is done we will be changing the simulation time in milliseconds be very careful majority of the students do mistakes with respect to this because uh, they give a very high simulation time and consequently you won't get the right output so choose it to be equal to 3 milliseconds seconds in this case so once this is done uh, now uh, we've entered all the parameters that are required according to our circuit connection um, so we we can take a look at the output by clicking on run so it is compiling over here as you can see so uh, so now we'll be double clicking on the scope and uh, we will be uh, categorically separating them so that we can see all the three waveforms one is overlapped over here so this is 2 volt which is respect to input this is 4 volt with respect to the second input v2 and this is 2 volt with respect to the output so this is how our output looks like and we are getting exactly the same so we can uh, cross verify by now uh, changing this to be equal to 2 volt and uh, this to be equal to 4 volt so when we do that uh, the output should be inverted because inverting terminal voltage is higher in comparison with respect to the non inverting terminal voltage as a result you have to get uh, in this particular fashion over here so you are getting an inverted uh, waveform which is uh, exactly what we want so you can try this for different values as well in case uh, you have any questions feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below if you like this video please do like it share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates thanks for watching this video please do keep supporting thank you